it collapse. Okay. And that's what it looks like when it's relatively healthy. And of course, I cheat, right? Gray sky day, blue sky day. I can make this one look better. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm trying to make you feel it because I think it's important. So I won't talk about that much. And I'm not going to talk about that at all. But here, I got to talk about this. So the, this is a cool satellite image. I was telling somebody when we got here, and that's my real area of expertise. I'm not a biologist. I'm a satellite remote sensor, so I love looking at that. Look at the sediment plume there. This is during that flood of April. Oh, was that 2010, 2011? 2011, 2011 was the see, You can see Mont Carey's open there. Yes. Um, and you see all that wonderful sediment that we could be using to build land. We're not really doing that because we don't have any meaningful outlets for it um, other than the wax and the chocolate way over here. Yep. And we'll look at that in a minute. So some people say it can't be done, but I say it's already being done. Um, DU, has, DU has a lot of roles in coastal Louisiana. One of them is to advocate. I do this a lot, talk about um, greater societal good and, 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 and what, what we as a society need out of these systems. But frankly, most of my energies every day are, are chewed up doing project delivery. Again, working, I'm working for 15 odd million ducks and they only live a couple of years, so I've got to do things right now for them. Um, see the one I underlined there? I think it's really important that we as a conservation community embrace and advocate for positive change, because change is coming. You're either going to get the one that just lands in your lap, or you're going to get the one that you can plan for. Um, elevate to action, right? Make it actionable. And so I use ducks to do that, because that's the brand I write for. Um, there's me and a former general, another former general, not nearly as cool as DeLuca, but, <laughs> but nonetheless, <laughs> a pretty cool guy. Um, and there's a lot of ways, there's a lot of ways that we can collectively act together. Um, that's the rice program I talked to you guys about. That's a big deal for us. Um, admittedly, we helped sponsor this research, but we didn't bend it. It's peer reviewed. It would cost three and a half billion dollars if we had to replace the wetland values of the rice industry, and in the, the speaking nationally, yeah. three and a half billion dollars, some crazy numbers, really. Um, Mark's Terrace is something DU does a lot of. Frankly, we do a lot of it because it works uh, for waterfowl habitat and we can get a permit to do it. And I'm not gonna launch into a core bashing on the permit thing. <laughs> Just say it's, it's hard to get permits to do some of the stuff that needs to happen. Um, Freshwater introduction.